the truth of the matter is uh, that the gentleman we are honoring right now, Tom Harkin, uh, will go down in history as one of the great senators of this particular period uh, in American history. Um, not many senators, uh, if any, uh, have a list of enormous accomplishments anywhere close to what Senator Harkin has accomplished. And I just want to tell you a, a little story. It turns out that coincidentally, really, uh, uh, I have traveled with Senator Hawken uh, to a number of places around the world as part of congressional delegations. And like most congressional delegations, we meet with the leadership of the country, the presidents, and so forth. But what was interesting in traveling with Senator Hawken is wherever you go, he gets honored by ordinary people in those countries. Uh, we were to Vietnam a number of years ago, and many people will not remember, uh, but the truth is that one of the very first people ever to expose the terrible prison conditions that the South Vietnam government had established was Tom Harkin. So we go there and we meet people who uh, had been imprisoned in tiger cages, and they said, Senator Harkin, thank you very much for exposing those conditions and improving our lives. Very emotional response. Then I go with him to Ghana. And it turns out that in Ghana and in countries in Africa, Tom Harkin had been a leader in fighting against child labor. That you had kids who were eight or nine years of age who should be in school who are out picking crops. And Tom Harkin, working with people all over the world, had a real impact in getting those kids into school, and we went to a school, beautiful school, uh, help, which was partially funded by the United States government. We had bright kids who were in school who were so proud, and proud of the assistance that we had given them, where they were in school and not working in fields. And then I go to Chile. Go to Chile, and we meet with the president of Chile, we meet with all the dignitaries of Chile. Well, who knew this? You go to Chile, and Tom Harkin gets an award from the government there today, because in the very, very dark days of the Pinochet government, when the democratically elected president of Chile, Salvador Allende, was overthrown in a violent coup by Pinochet, with, unfortunately, the assistance of the United States government, and people were rounded up and put into prison camps and tortured and killed. Tom Harkin goes knocking on the door to one of the prison camps. Goes knocking on the door. Pretty crazy. But that's what he did. And he's met with soldiers with guns. But he exposed that particular prison camp and played a role in facilitating the ending of some of the more barbaric actions of the Pinochet government. Those are the only, those are three trips I made with him. I don't, that's about all. I'm sure he's gone on other trips. That's a pretty good record internationally. And then back home, you know, in terms of disability issues, I can remember, and, and others can remember, 30, 40, 50 years ago, families had kids born with disabilities. And often those kids were institutionalized, they were hidden, they were in embarrassment to the family. Something bad happened. I had a kid with a disability, Down syndrome, whatever it may be. Think about the revolution that has taken place, the mainstreaming of those kids. And I know in Vermont and all over these countries, kids with disabilities are sitting in classrooms right now, loved and respected by their fellow students, educating their fellow students, making their fellow students more human, more compassionate. And I think many of us on the floor have been to graduations, high school graduations, where kids with disabilities get their award and people stand up and applaud those kids. Well, that transformation of the culture in how we deal with people with disabilities and the American Disability Act didn't happen by accident. Tom Hawkins wasn't the only person who did it, but he helped lead the effort here in the United States Congress to say, you know what? People with disabilities are part of the human community and we're gonna treat them with dignity, the dignity that they deserve. And then you got all the other issues that other people have talked about. Probably nobody in the Congress has been a stronger fighter for working people and organized labor than Tom Harkin. So I think, you know, people come here, regardless of political persuasion, 
to try to make a difference and do what they think is right. We disagree about what's right. But I think uh, when you look at the list of accomplishments and the enormously hard work that has gone into those accomplishments, wow, uh, this man, Tom Hawken, will go down as one of the great senators of our period. So Tom, thank you so much for all that you've done.